This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. Today we have an old GE oven where the clock has stopped working. This is a kind of a rare numerical clock. We're going to send it in to get the clock redone. So we're going to remove a couple of screws here from the bottom that are holding on this front plate. And also we're going to make sure we turn off both breakers that are dedicated to this electric oven. And then there's a couple of screws on the top that we're going to turn off too. Just checking the, making sure the power is off. After those two screws are out, you should be able to pull the whole front panel towards you pretty far. It will be caught though uh, by the uh, self-cleaning lever. But there's four screws we're going to remove and there's one, and then there's uh, four on the four corners of the clock assembly. And we just have to get a socket in there, a, kind of a deep socket, so that you can remove them. Those are the four. And I'm going to use a little angle tool for my drill, but you could use a small ratchet would work too. You want to spin off those four. And then you want to take pictures of how the wires are connected to the clock. There's going to be about six different wires, different colors. Take pictures and then you can send the clock out. We'll put a link on where you can send it to get it fixed. Here are some pictures of the wires uh, that are connected to the back of the clock. And your model might be a little bit different, but make sure you take some good pictures. And you can use a standard head screwdriver to kind of pry these uh, wires off of the spade connectors because sometimes they're on there pretty tight. And I would not pull by the wire though. Make sure you, you use the uh, spade connector itself and then pry it away. And hopefully these pictures will help you to see which wires go where. But again, your model may be a little bit different, so really good for you to take your own set of pictures. So thanks so much for watching, and again, we'll put a link in the description on a place that can redo your clock for you and get it going. They're really cool, unusual clocks, the numerical types. It'll be fun to be able to rebuild them. It's usually just the little motor that powers it has failed and needs to be replaced, which uh, is pretty easy to do by a company that specializes in it. So thanks again. Thanks so much for watching our video. We really appreciate your support. And when you get a chance, please press the subscribe button below so you can be subscribed and also the notification bell so we can send you more videos about appliance repair. Please also give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you really liked the video and it really helped you, please press this new applaud button and you can show your support and also get a nice clapping hands for your video. Thanks again.